Hi guys, welcome back. So yes, this is not my usual setup. This is my kind of casual setup for when I just want to film a quick update because I've had some issues with Instagram. This is actually the second video I've had to do in this setup and you'll soon understand why this is kind of a mess and I probably look <laughs> kind of a mess because uh, with everything that happened, I really can't be asked to do any additional efforts because I am a bit drained, i will say. So, what's been going on with my Instagram account? So basically, last week on uh, Wednesday or Tuesday, I can't remember, in the morning, so I had just downloaded a new update of Instagram the night before. And in the morning, as usual, I opened my phone and I tried to check Instagram because that's what I do every morning. I just go and check on the account and see what's been going on and stuff like that. So I try to go on Instagram and look for what's been going on and I get this message. I hadn't changed my passwords and I hadn't... I didn't know what was going on. As last time I already had a bit of an issue with getting logged out of my account. Um, last time that I uh, downloaded an update of Instagram at first I thought, well, that's not an issue, it's gonna get solved pretty quickly. Because last time, in something like, I don't know, maybe three to four hours, Instagram had figured it out and I could just log back in it. So at first I just wait and see, and, and I'm not very worried at first. But then a few hours passed, and a day passes, two days pass, three days, four days, and I couldn't go log into this account. I was trying everything I could find on the internet, I was trying everything that was described on the Instagram help page for when you have problems logging into your account, nothing was working, I just couldn't do anything. And this is when I started to think that I probably got hacked because the new Instagram update didn't cause any issues with any of my other family members and this was starting to be too long to just be kind of a beginning bug with the new version so I started to get worried and then finally on Wednesday night of last week I finally, I don't even remember how I did it but after hours of me searching, my boyfriend searching, my family searching how I could get back into his account I finally managed to get back into my account, I don't even know how I did it, and this is what I fucking saw. So it had been hacked, the name had been changed, the password I'm pretty sure had been changed, and all of my content was gone. All of my followers were gone, everything was basically gone. To say that I was sad would be a fucking understatement. This account meant so much to me. It was the product of three years of daily work, easily spending 10 hours a week working on it, responding to comments, to DMs, posting stuff, searching stuff, um, searching new hashtags, searching new ideas of content. It was so much work and I just, I loved doing this work, that's why I was working, working on it so much. And the, the work was paying, I had just reached something like 24k followers, so I had a good following and I loved the community that I, had, that I had created. It was such a supportive community, it was always looking for each other's back and being so supportive and I loved that I had a place I could put my thoughts and help others and learn stuff as a social worker. As a social worker, this account just taught me so much about reaching out to people, how to get people help, about how to help them, how to direct them to mental health professionals, how to address them. I learned so much and this is another thing that I was so sad that I basically was losing. So yeah, I was pretty fucking devastated. I announced it on my backup account, which is this account that you can go follow for when I have issues like that. I don't use it to post uh, other stuff, it's really just when I have an issue and that's when you where you can find me when I have 
issues like this, which actually has been happening quite a lot lately, so if you don't want to lose me, go follow this one. And you guys were so sweet when I announced it, and that was so heartwarming because it was so hard for me to lose this, but seeing that the community that I had built was not completely gone, I still had so many supportive followers that were encouraging me and telling me how much of good work I had done. It was so heartwarming and this was something that really helped me to get back on my feet, kinda. So from that point I was wondering and thinking about what I should do next because I really really didn't want to lose the interaction that I can have on this platform because I could have just kept on doing only YouTube and maybe do more videos a week, but I love doing YouTube, don't get me wrong, but it is so different from working on Instagram when you have constant interactions, you have DMs, you have um, something much more spontaneous because if I have a thought, I can post it in max five minutes as a post on Instagram and people can respond to it and we can have a discussion and all of that. On YouTube, it takes minimum two hours, it takes a camera, it takes an editing software, I can only do it when I'm at home. It's really not the same and I love the interaction that I could have with this platform. And what happened in parallel to that exactly at the same time is that my old phone basically got fed up with Instagram like, no, you've made me work too much, I don't want you anymore, I don't know, this is probably what this fucker told himself, I don't know, because I could not log with any account on my old phone on Instagram. Even my backup account, I had to use an old dirty phone to go on that account. And so, to keep on going on my backup account, I had to buy a new fucking phone! I had to pay 300 bucks to be able to continue going on Instagram. I know it's extreme, but this is really what I needed. So today is Wednesday, it's been almost a week since this shit show started and this is what I've decided. I'm gonna do a new account. Sadly, I couldn't do a new account with the same name, so just add self-harm problems because for some reason it wasn't available even though no other account is using that name, but there you go. So here is my new name on Instagram. That's why it's changed, that's why basically all my content and following is gone from it. That's what happened. Basically, I got hacked by a fucker and I basically have to start from scratch again, which really pisses me off. As you can tell by how much I'm swearing in this video, I'm really sorry. So if you want to help me, please share this video so people know what's been happening and where I am now. You can also share my new Instagram account, that would really help me. And you can also share my backup account for when I have problems in the future, because I probably will, let's face it. Any support, any retweets, uh, shoutouts, anything will be much appreciated. I have 95% of my old posts just secured on my laptop, so I'm probably gonna repost most of what uh, my old content was. I just don't have the recovery story saved and I don't really have the still not for attention saved. I have the picture but I don't have the texts and I don't have which pictures is whom. But yeah, I'm taking a new start on Instagram. I just wanted to give a little update of why I've been gone from Instagram for almost a week and why I'm coming back with a almost empty account. That's what happened and that's why I couldn't put much effort in a video today because that was just asking too much of myself because I've already spread myself so thin over getting a new phone, figuring out what I should do, figuring out how the hell I'm gonna cope with losing this account and yeah, all of that. So I'm fine, don't worry, I'm not relapsing or anything close to that, but it's been quite an emotional journey and I am studying besides all of that so yeah it's quite a busy time for me so if you want to help me please share this video so people know where to find me and yeah I guess that's gonna be it for today I had another video in mind for today I wanted to do a tattoos and piercings tour because I love watching those videos but that's probably gonna be for next week I guess I've rambled on quite long enough so I'm gonna stop for today, so yeah, that's 
what's been happening. Again, I'm sorry that I'm not in my usual setup. I hope the image is not too bad. And I will see you next week. Bye, guys. Thank you.